Hey guys, C Wade here with the JavaScript Mission 3 Fixed Theory Tutorial. Um, the theory I posted in the JavaScript Mission 3 about a year ago wasn't correct, so the math behind it was not right. And so basically, in that video, I just gave you the answer. And if you're looking for the answer itself, that's alright, but if you're actually looking on how to do it and learning, then you should watch this video tutorial. So we're going to start off by copying our variables pasting them in there. Then we're going to look at the rest of the JavaScript code. Function check x. x is going to be the variable for our answer. If our answer dot length equals mu. So if the length of our answer equals mu and mu equals our answer, then if the length of mu occurs, then JavaScript alert when. A little pop-up window is going to show and it's going to say when and then it's going to take our window location and it's going to forward us to the end of the level so knowing that we're solving for mu we don't even need this extra line down here variable of rar equals mu divided by three so now we can solve for foo five plus six times seven we do six times seven get forty two forty two plus five we get forty seven then we take uh, percentage 8 and percentage sign and programming means to find the remainder so we're going to we're going to do 8 into 47 and we're going to get 5 remainder 7 and so our answer actually is remainder 7 so with that we have two answers now we have 42 and we have 7 we don't need this one anymore so let's go to our third line bar which is seven times two which equals fourteen fourteen equals mu so mu equals fourteen so we read our javascript again if fourteen dot length occurs so if our length is fourteen we don't actually have a password itself, like the length of how many characters are in the text field. So we're going to do like 14 random letters and numbers, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We're going to press check password now. And you've already done this mission, no points awarded. But that's basically how you solve for it, and if you want to look in the JavaScript code more in depth there's another way we can solve the mission instead of pressing the button um, it's kind of pointless but you know it builds your JavaScript knowledge up a little bit um, window.location so we're gonna add in index.php because in programming that's the either index.html or index.php is the default page if there's nothing else shown here, just a backslash, unless otherwise specified in the Apache settings, but it's index uh, on default. And since there's a question mark, it's not likely going to be index.html question mark. So we're going to do question mark, index.php question mark, level password plus x. So level underscore password equals plus x. Now it's not actually plus x, it's again the length, so we're just going to type in 14 random stuff, like letters and numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And I've already done the mission, but you know, either or works the same. See you wait here, for the people who want to know the theory, there you go, uh, thanks for watching.